All right, welcome back to the American Dream. Today we are diving into Denver. We are going to speak with Brandon Rossell from Remax Structure. Brandon, how's it going today? It's going awesome. How are you? Awesome. I'm doing well. So Denver, yeah. let's talk about it. I know your your market as a whole is absolutely on fire. Let's talk about how Denver's doing in the real estate market. Uh, Denver's doing fantastic, but uh, the way we look at it, real estate is always doing great for us. So. Sure, understood. I mean, you're you're in a great spot. I know it's you know a lot of developments are happening. A lot of people are moving there. Um, demand cannot keep up, or supply can't keep up with the demand. So you guys are having to, you know, build a lot of new construction. So talk to me about how important it is to have a real estate agent in with you know alongside you when you're purchasing new construction. Sure. So that's kind of my background. That's where I came from. One of the big things is, uh, you know, just having representation in general is huge. Uh, it's kind of like walking into an alley uh, alone or walking in with a big gorilla. Um, you have, you know, they automatically recognize uh, that you're working with a professional and they treat the process that way. Um, you know, ultimately, not knowing what you don't know can always impact you and uh, could potentially cost you thousands. Uh, and, and having that professional could absolutely save you some additional money or, or even uh, get you a little more than you anticipated. I know and, a lot uh, of, yeah, I was going to say you're right along the right track. I think a lot of people don't understand the um, how important it is to have a real estate agent on your side. Maybe they think they're going to get a deal if they go straight to the agent. So you can speak on, I'm sure, a million different reasons to, as to why an agent is so important by your side. Yeah. Well, especially because builders don't have to follow the same rules and uh, and regulations that realtors uh, do. So the buyer not may not be accustomed to the same process. So it's really important to have that representative that's aware of how builders work and operate. Absolutely. And what do you think buyers should look for when they're trying to choose their agent to represent them in new construction? You know, understanding the, the process from, um, you know, all the way up, basically from dirt to turning over the keys, uh, trusting who they are working with to make uh, the big decisions, especially because it's typically a much longer process. Um, generally, instead of, you know, your, your typical 30 to 45 day period, you could be looking at up to two years in the process. Um, knowing the quality and the value of the finishes and, uh, and understanding uh, each each company, as far as what they include, what's standard, what's an upgrade, what's not even offered, um, things like that are pivotal as far as helping you make a decision when when you're choosing that right person. Absolutely. And what would you, if you were to, if you had a buyer who was contemplating buying a new construction or perhaps a house that was newly renovated, what would you say is the difference? In which way do you think the buyer should go, or is it case by case? It really is case by case, and it's very preferential. Um, you know, with a new product, there's a lot of uh, assurance that you get, knowing that even if it is a, um, it, it's not the best quality of finishes and so forth. Knowing that everything is fresh, everything is new. Generally, you have a, a pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Substantial warranty that sure. goes along with it that uh, that keeps you. Um, comfortable with the process for, for at least a, a year. That makes a lot of sense. You're buying a new construction home, you get a, a huge warranty. And if you have Brandon on your side, then you really know that you're getting a quality product. And so if you are looking, if you're in the Denver metro area, give a shout to Brandon Rossell. Brandon, thank you so much for being here with us today. All right. Thanks a lot. Of course. Thanks so much for watching The American Dream. We'll be right back with more.